couldn't have gone better. I was filming him so we can see the change in him when he sees his greedy belly food. Here's your food. <laughs> That's all it takes, isn't it? A bit of breakfast. Look at this. Saturday morning cuddles. Yeah. So, Saturday then, and we're dropping Charles off to my mum's about half past 11. Um, my old governor, before I left work to be a full-time dad, has uh, invited us out for dinner. So we're going up there, he's the director of the law firm he used to work for. So we're going up there about three o'clock up to London, Forest Hill, um, and there's a nice Indian restaurant they know of, so we're going to go there, just me and Eloise, and uh, we'll be back later tonight and uh, pick up Charles tomorrow. You stand at Nanny's, Charles. Charles, where are you going later? You're going to be at Nanny's. At Nanny's? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. He's looking for her, look, he does, I told you. If you say Nanny or Grandad, he looks at the door. Oh, yep. She's not here, sweetheart. She'll, we'll take you around later. He's looking for the car. He's looking at the window, look. Yeah. You little sweetie pie. Does recognise, doesn't he? So I've plugged in my razor because I definitely need a shave before we go anywhere tonight. Uh, yesterday was a disaster with the car. I was taking Charles to his gym lesson oh. and um, I had all the windows shut and it sounded drafty still. So I had to look over my shoulder and the back passenger window would just drop right down within the door. We had snow, rain and all sorts yesterday and I'm driving around with Charles in the car trying to find somewhere that will fix it for me. In the end I had to drop him off at my mum's and uh, quick fit of taking it, so I'm getting the car back Sunday. Well, yesterday was just a disaster day. Eloise had a nightmare at work, just really busy, and um, I was driving around with basically the windows open in torrential rain for most of the day, so that was fun. Your hair, <laughs> from this side, because the light shining through, it looks well long. It looks ridiculous. So apparently, I look ridiculous. Why are you chasing us, son? Why? Because he's got two of the biggest bogeys I've ever seen in my life and I can't stand. Charles, mummy's got the booger sucker. I cannot stand kids with bogeys. <laughs> right, we won't film this because he gets distressed. He loves it. Oh boy. Oh, he's done a poo. That's his defence mechanism, like a skunk. Charles is having a nap and Eloise is doing loads of housework. I've done the kitchen a bit, but um, I'm going to sit down for a coffee and claim all the credit when Eloise walks in. Right, Charles just taking a nap. I've just done all the tidying up. So, I'll sit down, have a coffee. Eloise is... You've just done all the tidying up? Just done all the tidying up. Are you for real? You've just been pottering around, didn't you? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you are unbelievable. Unbelievable. I couldn't have gone better. I think she was gonna kill me. So funny. <laughs> so still snoozing that. So what he doesn't realise is he's cleaning the bathroom in there. He's still asleep. Oops. <laughs> Did you see him jump? <laughs> Did you see him jump? Yeah. <sighs> right, yeah, we've been out for our lunch. Charles behaved himself, made loads of friends with some old age pensioners that sit on the table next to us. And we're going to take you to Nanny's, Charles. You ready? Yeah, did you say yeah? You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Oh, I ain't got my car, have I? We've got to go in Eloise's car. Oh, yeah. Bom, bom, bom. Because we're in Eloise's car, he's in the baby, baby car seat. What are you doing to the poor boy? Look, come here. No one wants Hello. to see his bogies. <laughs> Eloise is obsessed he's with the bogies. Massive! Absolutely huge! He'd be alright. Leave it for Nanny. Just leave it be. Leave it be. And you brought Charles more stuff? Yeah. 
yes, I've got them. They're in a sale. I went in there and got my goddaughter mm. stuff. But, um, look, the original awesome. What do you want, your toys? Boy! We're going. We'll see you tomorrow, Charles. Bye-bye. And you give Nanny hell. See you later. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give Nanny hell. Cheers, Biddy. see anything on this so we'll go over there Tower London Way and then up there between those buildings that's where I used to work oh look at you with the shades where'd you pop the shades from wouldn't you like to know didn't know it was going to be a sunglasses day where are we right we're on at London Bridge been out we've had two coffees oh I have and a cake Eloise had a bottle of water <laughs> Now put a bit of slap on. Slap you. Slap you. Well we didn't do any recording last night once we got off the train. But the curry was nice. Wasn't it my dear? Really nice, yeah, nice evening.